welcome or welcome back to my channel. So, today I'm going to be doing a little organization sort of tips on how to keep your room clean. Few moments later. Here are the top 10 reasons to keep your room clean. Number one, you can use any type of container or storage bin. Okay, number two. Shelves are also a good way to keep your room clean, but you don't want to put too much because it's just kind of gets all annoying and messy and you know, you don't want to put two things in there either. You kind of want to have it a little bit open like mine over here is, um, I think it's pretty organized for the most part. I'm sorry about the lighting. It's like kind of bad today, but the sunset's kind of like setting <laughs> once or twice a week. That's very helpful. And when you vacuum, um, you're going to want to vacuum under your bed. If you have a couch like me or four, um, rearrange things like lamps, plants, or other things. So you don't get bored of your room. Number five, if you have books and if you have a lot of books or you're, you know, a bookworm like me, um, you're going to want to have like a bookcase or like I said, in number one, a storage or a bin of any kind to keep your books because, um, I have some, a bookcase and then little bins to keep them separated from A all the way to Z in sequence. So that's also kind of a nice way to have it. So all your A, B, C, D, E, F, G books. Number six, six, six. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Okay, so my mom's being in Starbucks, so I'm really excited, but she's drinking it. Closet can hold up most of your clothes or at least your sweaters and shirts because I don't know, like, I feel like lots of people store them, like, in the containers under the bed. This is really helpful, too, because, you know, there's some that are really big, or there's just some that are really small, but if they're really small, you can put, like, your favorite clothes or, like, your sweaters in there, because I know some sweaters can be really thick, so it's kind of hard to put them in your dressers or anything else. Okay, number seven. Yeah, I have to do it. It's just kind of like the chain. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Um, having little nooks to hold up your backpacks or bags, um, personally, I've had it since I was, like, three years old, little nooks for my backpack. Um, I'm gonna try and zoom in. Here's the, um, first nook. Here's the second one. Eight. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why I did that. Okay. Um, a desk can store some photos or you can add, like, your computer on it, which is what I also do. Most of these tips is like stuff I already have in my room, stuff I kind of have to come up with. Nine, we have, let's look on the trusty iPad for this, yeah. Um, a table or couch for number 10. Finally, we got to number 10. It hasn't really been that long, but you know, it's probably going to be with everything like five minutes long. Okay, so, um... A mint fridge is something that could also be helpful. I actually have one too. And this isn't actually a problem for me, but I know a lot of people can kind of be sloppy and they bring like food, chip bags, all that stuff to their room. Basically just junk food. I like to bring like fresh fruit to my room, but my mini fridge hasn't been working for some reason. So I haven't been able to add fruit into it. If you know what the problem is or kind of like the general idea of what happened, comment on my social media links. Anyways, um, mini fridge could help you if you're messy and you don't want to like store, go all back to the kitchen when you're eating a midnight snack. So it's good to store it. That will be the end of this video for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.